Professor Deva Newman from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. I'm a professor of aeronautics and astronautics and engineering systems. One of our pretty exciting research projects is called the BioSuit. It's a concept for a future advanced spacesuit for the Moon or Mars. The current NASA spacesuit or the Russian suit are gas pressurized suits. It's very bulky, very immobile. It's about 140 kilos. So we're looking at a kind of a radical design. The BioSuit is actually using mechanical counter pressure. So what it is is applying pressure directly to the skin. We have to provide about a third of an atmosphere, that's 30 kilopascals, and we do that by choice of materials and choice of the pattern. So we apply it directly to the skin, so we call it a second skin suit, and it offers maximum mobility and is a very light system. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own and easy-to-operate, very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. The holy grail of mechanical counter-pressure suit design is to try and make the garments active and by that I mean that they can expand um, and contract as the astronaut needs it. So you can imagine that you put on the suit like a pair of pyjamas. Um, they're, they're easy to put on and then when you get into the airlock and the airlock pressure decreases your suit gradually contracts to compensate. Uh, further we would like to have some kind of active management so that in the long term in space the suit adjusts to your changing body shape. So for instance, your fluids redistribute in space. Instead of having gravity pull down fluids down to the bottom of your legs, fluids redistribute to an even pressure. So therefore your legs become thinner and your upper torso and your face becomes puffier. But once you're in comfortably, say you don it, put it on in five minutes, what you'd like it to do is kind of cinch up around you. That's really where the active materials come in. And then again, say you do your work for four hours or six hours on the lunar surface, then when you take off the suit, you'd like to expand a little bit so that you could take it off readily. It's a custom design suit. So initially you go from a 3D laser scan of the person. You're gonna have that, so it's basically kind of digital suit design. You go from that 3D scan to conforming it to each person. We've specified the exact material properties that we need to attain our 30 kilopascal one atmosphere pressure production. And then over the top of that, it's kind of laminate because you'd like it to be, the materials to be kind of one-way breathable. You don't want dust or water to get in, but you'd like to control humidity, so you would like to actually be able to breathe, have it breathe out. That's very different than current suits that are basically a barrier layer. If you're in a gas pressurized suit, you're in a balloon, you can't have anything entering or leaving. We actually don't want things to come in, say dust, but it would be great to have a one-way breathable so you can have the humidity control and just kind of be able to expire some of the humidity. This is appropriate, we think, for the moon, which is in a vacuum environment. The same suit would be great for Mars, which of course you have a small atmosphere on Mars. It's carbon dioxide. The part of the suit that changes between the moon and the Mars is really your life support system, but the design of the suit itself to provide maximum mobility is very similar between the moon and Mars. We envision actually that you'd wear the suit to do daily work. I mean, up four hours, you might want to take a lunch break, you know, then another four hours. I mean, so up to eight hours. Would it work long term in terms of days to weeks? That really, again, is dependent on your life support system. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. Mechanical counterpressure suits have an advantage in safety over gas pressurized suits. If you can imagine falling over on the surface of the moon or Mars or even in the construction of the space station, uh, you can imagine tearing a hole in the gas pressurized suits and that would cause a full evacuation of pressure of the whole suit. With a mechanical counterpressure suit, your tear would produce a rip 
in the local elastics, but it wouldn't affect the rest of the suit. So you may suffer from some slight bruising or edema in that area, but the rest of you would be okay. Working on the bio suit is a lot of fun. Uh, we're dealing with testing different suit components, uh, gloves for instance, putting our hands in chambers and comparing how our hands react to low pressure uh, compared to having our hands with the bio suit gloves. Uh, it's a lot of fun in that regard. Uh, also developing technology which will eventually help people to walk on these fabulous other worlds such as the Moon and Mars. Not only are we working on the bio suit as a, as a spacesuit application, uh, but we're looking at all sorts of other applications for use on Earth. I think the biggest goal in this project is, is to create a practical spacesuit. We have a technology, mechanical counter pressure, which offers enormous benefits to the current gas pressurised technique, but it's not quite practical yet. And that's, that's the main goal, to make it a viable alternative to the current suits, which are terrific, but with flexibility and the imminent return to Moon and Mars, we think mechanical counterpressure can offer tremendous advantages.